Good morning, friends, from not so sunny Eugene, Oregon. I am in Oregon. And I bet you're thinking, like, why are you in Oregon? I am so excited that this just worked out. That I am attending Allie Edwards Story Camp. Now, if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know that I am a big fan. She's my memory keeping guru. She um, runs a blog and a successful business all around memory keeping and storytelling through visual arts, through visual craft. And I kind of stumbled upon her a few years ago. Um, I think when I was pregnant <clears throat> with Charlotte and I was looking to getting back into memory keeping, which I loved doing scrapbooking when I, in my younger days and then kind of let go of it for a while. And it just, she totally inspired me and she continues to do so. And she hosts this event a couple times a year, very small event, I think it's only about 40 attendees, um, where you can come and be a part of a workshop where she, you know, talks to, you know, she's there in person and she goes through her methods and you work on things as a group and it, I'm, I'm so excited. This has been on my bucket list. I think she's been doing this event for about three years and I've wanted to go desperately for all three years, but I've either been pregnant or nursing or just hasn't worked out. Well, it worked out and I'm here. I'm so excited. I came in late, late, late last night, so I have a little bit of time um, this morning. I'm gonna go explore, get some breakfast. There's a vegan-friendly breakfast place. I'm plant-based, if you're like, what? Um, just across the street. I might do that first because I'm so hungry. I slept late for me. I woke up at 7.30, which is like unheard of for me. And it's two hours earlier here than where I live in the Chicago area. But anyway, I've got, um, you know, I'm dressed to walk. I hope to maybe sneak in some hikes while I'm here. There's some just hiking like really close by. So I might might look to do that. I have some free time. The event doesn't start till later this evening. And I'm staying at this really cute hotel where the event is being held called the Inn at the Fifth, right in downtown Eugene. I think this is downtown. And I'll give you a room tour later, um, but it's still pretty, it's kind of dark in here and I want it to be a little bit brighter. Anyway, I'm gonna take you on my trip because I wanna document this for myself and for you. Uh, so let's go exploring. Let's get some breakfast, man, I am hungry. How cute is this? This is like adjacent to the hotel. It's a little marketplace. So what I am looking for, and I think if I turn left, I'll be there, is this restaurant. Well, let's give it a second to figure that out. Come on, there you go. If you're not using Happy Cow, you should be. This is an app that will find all of the plant-based and vegetarian and vegan friendly locations near you um, by using location services, or you can just search manually if you're not comfortable with that. So I am looking for this place which looks lovely, to get a nice hearty breakfast to start my day. Um, and then it will connect you right to Google or Apple Maps, or whatever you use. So it looks like it's just down this road. I'm gonna walk to it. Here we go. Eureka, I found it. It's so bright you can't see, but this menu is making my heart happy. Oh, I wish it would focus on it. Why is it so blown out? Look, a vegan French toast. Ugh, I'm so excited. I wish you could see the menu, but I'll order something and show it to you. Okay, I adjusted the settings on my camera. So, we have soy mocha, so excited about it. And I'm starting this book, which is on my fall list, and I'm excited to dive in. This is what they call the Three Sisters with veggies and potatoes. This is a tofu sour cream, a mushroom gravy, a dill roll. I guess I'm a plant based butter. I'm very excited. That was really delicious. I have a feeling I'll be back there for breakfast every day. So I talked to my server about where to look around here. This is the day I have the most free time. So I'm going to spend most of it on foot um, exploring 
there is a trail literally right there a very easy trail that goes by the river she said um, so I'm probably going to go there to hike around a little bit. I'm going to go back to the hotel to drop off my book. Um, and then after that, I think I'm going to walk around downtown Eugene and just get a sense of, of the town. And, you know, all it has to offer. Probably at some point grab some lunch. Um, I'm excited to have this free time. The, the, I buffered in a little bit of free time at the beginning, at the end of the trip for exploring, mainly due to the fact that there are so few flights into Eugene. There's only like one direct flight a day. So I flew in really late last night and then I have the red eye on Sunday to go home. But it actually works out because it gives me some time to explore and I've never been here and I wanna know, you know, I just wanna explore. So that's my plan. And of course, you are coming with me. You guys are my travel buddies for this adventure. All right, I think I found it. We're going in. So this trail is starting out right next to this park, which, you know, the trail's gonna go up the little hill, butte, whatever they call it. But I was just thinking this is a nice place to come to jog. This is right by the river. Can you guys see the river down there? Over there? I might come here tomorrow morning for a little jog. Um, are on the path. I have a hiking companion. He's apparently going hiking with me. This enormous squirrel. <laughs> He's like not darting off to the side. He's just going up the mountain. <laughs> How funny. Story time. I'm extremely wary of squirrels because as a young child, maybe nine or ten, I went to a like a day camp, summer camp, and one of the counselors, I can't remember, I think a squirrel fell out of a tree and like it was clear that he had broken his legs. I'm having him, having him. And the counselor tried to capture the squirrels to get it to animal rescue, that sort of thing for help. I was like, bye squirrel. And, um, oh, I wanna go this way, okay. Anyway, the squirrel bit him, and he had to go get rabies shots. And you have to get so many shots for that. So I'm always like a little afraid of getting too close to a squirrel. The things that stick with you. Well, this is just lovely. Look at these big trees. Well, it only took me 10 minutes to get to the top. So, I don't know if the way back down, you can go a different way around the, whatever they call this, butte, mountain, hill. I don't think it's quite a mountain. Um, it's longer, but it was a nice little hike up the woods. Um, and it's real pretty. This is the clearest view, unobstructed by trees that I've gotten. It's so nice and lush and green out there. I'd like to go hiking over there. That might be reserved for Sunday and I'd have to take an Uber to get over there, I guess, but something to think about. Okay, so that was really short, and so I ended up walking around the west side of the hill. <laughs> and then coming back to a point that I'd already come to and then going back up to the top and now I'm going down the south side um, back to town and um, then I'm gonna hoof it around town for a little bit this was like a really like small beans hike but it was really it's just really gorgeous there's lots of people out and about and I have nothing like this near me at home in suburbia so I'm very grateful for the time that I got to spend among the trees today and I'm going to try to do some more of that this trip okay down we go this is adorable little cabin Skinner's cabin right here in a park I think I'm in the 
well obviously I'm in the park section now um, still exploring I'm gonna head down to the town soon but this is just a really lovely park Creature has stumbled on some little street there look at this truck cute I'm walking through the main thoroughfare now. It's Willamette Avenue. This is what the server at the restaurant this morning had recommended. It's got a nice feel to it. It's very small, city feel, and eclectic. I like it a lot. And just past a donut shop that apparently has vegan donuts, but I'm not hungry, so I'm gonna have to go back there. I don't know, it's, this is, I love this kind of town. I prefer this to like a big city, although it's fun to explore cities. This is nice. Alright guys, I walked around for about two hours, including that little 30 minute hike I did. And I think I saw most of you, most of downtown Eugene is very small. Um, but that was nice. Now, I have quite a bit of time. I don't think, let me look at the schedule here. I don't think... Yeah, I don't, I don't have to be anywhere till 6.30 and it's a quarter to 12. So, there's two things I might, I'm thinking about doing. I'm thinking about trying to go to that Spencer Butte. I don't know how to say that word, so I apologize if I'm saying it wrong. Um, I might Uber over there to do like a longer hike. Um, I'm not hungry right now, but I know I'll be hungry in like an hour, so I don't know if that timing makes sense. But if I go right now, do a little hike and then come back to town for lunch, like a late lunch and like maybe not do a dinner, just do snacks later, something like that. And I'm also thinking there's an Aveda salon in the lobby of the hotel. I'm thinking of getting a haircut because I never make time for that at home and I really need one. So I might, I might do that. Anyway, while it's a little bit brighter out, I thought I would give you a little tour of the room because um, it's, it's just, it's darling and I love it and I'm gonna show you around. So that's my door. Um, I'm on the third floor and when you walk in, you see this kind of vestibule with the wardrobe on the side. This is really cool. I don't know if I've stayed somewhere where they have this, maybe once, but that's a little door that um, on the outside that I think they can unlock and put your room surface in so they don't have to like come in and disturb you. I think that's really cool. So there's a bunch of closet space. I've already, I unpacked last night, but there's all these drawers and things. Here, everybody loves a good hotel room tour, right? Here's the hanging stuff. My suitcase fit perfectly in there. All my little tops. This event is very, very casual, so I just brought some of my favorites. It's much cooler here, so I brought some fallish kinds of things. My new raincoat, which I'm very excited about. Here is the bathroom, which is lovely. It has this sliding kind of barn style door and a full length mirror on the other side. Um, two sinks. Very nice. Toilet and shower. The shower looks lovely. I haven't used it yet, but I will definitely need to. Um, and then I love this deep drawer because I could fit all of my toiletry cases fit perfectly in there. I have so many. That's makeup. These are just um, cotton pads, my face, facial cotton pads. General toiletries and skincare. It's really nice. Here's the products. They have Aveda products, which makes sense considering there's a Veda salon. It's my toothbrush right there. Um, very nice bathroom. Um, my friend sent me some beautiful flowers, which was so sweet of her. Uh, oh, the um, staff left me this note, which I thought was really nice. I think this is the um, cleaning person left this note. I always leave $5 per day um, for cleaning staff because I just like to tip that way. Some people wait till the end to do a big tip. I prefer to do it daily because you never know if the staff may change. I just think it's a nice thing to do. Of course, I have my easy lunch tote. I still wish they offered that small size. They have the big size, which I love, but the small size is good. I brought some of my own treats from home. Some individual bags of hippies, which are my favorite. 
couple of kind bars. These, so good. Only the dark chocolate one is plant-based friendly, but so good. And then these, I just wanted to have some treats uh, to splurge on. Here's the fridge. I have a lovely fruit plate in there, some snap peas and an apple from home. Um, that I brought on the plane with me. I always bring food on the plane. Here's a little desk sitting area. I have my computer because I'm vlogging and I've been editing a little bit while I'm here. They have this water, this complimentary water. I guess you can purchase the bottle if you want the actual bottle, but the water inside is complimentary. At least that's what it, I think that's what that means. So we'll see if I get a bill for a bunch of water. But anyway, my bags, that's the bag that I will bring my supplies to the workshops. I've used this bag for a long time. It's a Rifle Paper Company, the sports sack bag from a few years ago. They unfortunately do not have that range anymore, but they still have this bag. It's a great bag, super lightweight, easy to pack. I have my paper trimmer in there. We had a long list of supplies, well, not a long list, but a solid list of supplies to bring on the paper trimmer. <laughs> Something I've never packed in a suitcase before. I have this little bag, which has served me so well already today. It's my first time using it. It was a gift from my mom. It's a little headgrin purse. I love my headgrin um, backpack that I use. It's kind of like a mommy purse at home. Okay, and then here is the bed area. There's a lovely electric fireplace, which I took full advantage of last night. Um, we have this window. Unfortunately, I'm looking out on construction, but apparently they're building a really nice addition to the hotel. Um, I, this is, uh, if you're like, what is this ball? This is for rolling out. Instead of bringing my whole foam roller, I just bring this and I use it like the foam roller. It's also good for hip flexor, like I'll lean up against the wall with it to roll up my hip flexor and areas. This is all, all of my supplies, so maybe I'll go through that later. There's a TV, which probably won't even turn on. I'll turn on the fireplace for you because that's fun. Is it going to go? There it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Very nice. It actually heats up the room quite a bit. But it adds nice ambiance, and it's nice when I'm like in bed and journaling. Ah, it's so nice. It was so late last night, but I was like, I need to use this. I'm going to turn it off because I don't want to waste it. Um, and then a really comfy bed, which I slept in last night. They are conservation efforts, so they don't change the sheets unless you request it specifically, which I appreciate um, very much. And then the nightstand, kind of my usual things that I bring. I brought my Erin Conrad on the go folio which I've packed up with my daily planner, my bullet journal, my wellness log, and my daily journal. This is the book I just started that I'm currently reading and a magazine that I started on the plane. Of course, I always travel with my yoga mat um, when it's possible. And this is my um, homemade yoga mat spray from Yoga with Adrian. Uh, and you guys, that's the whole room. Really cute, isn't it? Little, little nest, home away from home. So if you saw my vlog from last week, I picked up this box at Michael's, it was 70% off. I kind of assumed it wasn't going to survive the journey in the, um, care, in the checked luggage, which it has broken at the back, but it's okay, um, cause it will still serve its purpose and that's to protect the supplies on the way home, basically my finished projects. So I think it will still serve that function just fine. I'm not going to lug the whole box to... I don't think I'll bring the box with me to the event. But um, anyway, I had a whole list of supplies um, that I have brought. So brought some of my favorite. I thought I'd just show you because this is fun. I would find it fun at least. I brought my favorite Allie Edward stamping in colors right there. And it stays on, of course, which is the premium ink. This is um, a pouch I thought I could put all my bigger supplies in to put in my keep it organized in my tote bag. Some small um, alphabet stickers. These really fun kind of puffy foily ones and then some just plain black ones. Um, and then I have all of the smaller supplies in this Aaron Condren pouch. I have rolling adhesive. I have a couple of my favorite pens, because um, it said bring your favorite journaling pen, and I was like, well, I'm not sure what exactly we're writing on or what for. Um, hold on. So I brought all the ones that I use regularly in my just normal journaling and then also memory keeping. So this is a Villa Beautiful pen, it's what I use in my planners and my everyday journals. Um, this was my favorite bullet journaling pen. It's a Tombow drawing 
pen, um, which I love. This is my favorite for using in memory keeping. It works great on photos and all different kinds of surfaces. It's a little pen permanent. It's a bit thicker, very pigmented ink. And this is my favorite for fine, fine writing. I got this when I ordered a Hobonichi. It was like a gift with purchase. Um, it has blue, red, and black on it, but it's extremely fine tipped. And I really like this, just like a, roll, like a ballpoint pen. Um, let's see, we have scissors. These are my favorite, favorite straight edge scissors. They're um, by Kai, Japan. Um, here we have some foam dots, uh, some red line tape, which is basically very strong double adhesive, double sided adhesive, stamping block, rolling date stamp, essential for any memory keeping project. Oh, this is in there. That's just part of the clutch. Um, and then the tiny attacher, which is very, very small stapler. It makes very, it works very well through many different kinds of materials and just some extra staples. So that's what I have in here. And then we were outlined three projects to bring photos for. So, and I've labeled them. So for project one, let me look because I don't remember exactly what. Um, <laughs> So for project one, I had to bring four by six photos that capture details of my life right now. Um, so I'll show you some of those. I brought way more numbers. I wasn't sure. These are going to be punched down to size. So I'll just flip through them real fast for you. I edited them very quickly before I traveled. Um, these are all from the last, from September. So very, very... Um, current photos. That's a sunrise. First day of class. Little my little Donnie. Little Cece. Oh, love this one. And in the bath. Cece with all her bunnies. It's one of the only photos of me I have. I realize I don't have a lot of photos of myself because I'm always taking photos of my kids in a tree in a local park that I just really enjoyed. And then for project two, we had to bring um, four by six photos with a theme of loving or gratitude. So basically, I, I just picked my favorites from all of the professional photos that we've had taken since my maternity photo shoot when I was pregnant with Cece. Um, so this is fo the photographer for the first few of these is um, Photos by Sri. I'll link him below. He's amazing. Cece's newborn photo shoot. This was her uh, almost a year old, about mm, 11, 10, 11 months old. Meeting Vicky. This was at Disney World, so this is a Disney photo pass photographers. I love that one. Cece's first birthday party. I hired a photographer for. That's a different photographer whose name is escaping me right now, but if I can recall it, I will link it for you. This is Sri again. That's when I was pr heavily pregnant with Donnie, so just before Cece would turn two. Donnie's newborn photo shoot. I love this one. This is when our fall 2018 teen photo shoot. <laughs> the kid's crying. Donnie's first birthday party and this photographer is Rachel Friedman who now lives in in the Texas and I will link her below. She's incredible. Donnie meeting Mickey Mouse for the first time at Disney World. Just like that kind of juxtaposition. Another Rachel Friedman photo shoot. This is the kids one and three year old. Um, I just wanted to have land, like kind of landmark time landmark photos from that time. A recent photo shoot we had over the summer with Rachel before she moved away. She used to live in the Chicago area. Of course, Miss Winnie. I love this picture of Winnie. And then this isn't a four by six photo, but I wanted to include this. I don't know if I'll be able to use this in the, in the projects at all, but these are um, pictures just on my iPhone of me with my babies, like the day they're born, basically. So that's me with Cece and me with Donnie at the hospital. Love that. And for the last project, we needed to bring a 6 by 8 photo of ourselves that included a white space in the photo. So I actually took these um, just on my iPhone with a self timer in Utah because it's the only place I could think of that had a white wall. <laughs> All my houses don't have white walls. And I edited these within an inch of my life. Um, but now I'm kind of wishing I had cropped in a little bit closer. So I have this one, Smiling Jen, and this one, <laughs> Contemplative Jen. I don't know, I just wanted to bring a couple of options of different photos, and that's all my supplies. Okay, a bit of a change of plans. I waffled around the hotel room for like over an hour. Just kind of rehydrating and relaxing a little bit, chatting too much on 
social media. And I got really hungry, so I'm looking for this restaurant. I'm gonna try, I think it's a restaurant. It might just be like a stand, I don't know. But it's on that Happy Cow app, which is the best. And then we'll see where the day brings us. All right, this is it, right here. I'll give this a try. Look at those, here's the menu. Well, this looks lovely. Um, the falafel tacos or the avocado toast are calling my name. Mm, falafel tacos. I can't resist. Let's go in and look. Look at these donuts. Apparently the top shelf is all vegan. And they have yeast donuts and cake donuts. I like the rotating display. Back in the hotel again. I just don't want to lug my book around with me, but I like having it when I'm eating. Just started the book today, and I'm a couple of chapters in, and I'm really enjoying it, but I'm afraid that I should have brought one more book, because I feel like I'm going to finish that before my before the trip ends. Anyway, that meal was delicious. It was a cute kind of hole-in-the-wall place, very eclectic. Great menu, and the owner chatted with me for a while about... Apparently their main shtick is they, um, they're a kava bar. I've never heard of kava before. Sounds to me kind of like a plant medicine sort of thing that they brew into tea and it kind of makes you mellow. Probably not something that I will try while I'm here, but um, it was very interesting and he was very kind and the food was delicious. I did, as you saw, I popped into the Voodoo Donuts and I got... It's called the Dirty Old Bastard <laughs> Donut Vegan. They had like a dozen and a half vegan donut options, which I thought was amazing. And it's basically like a, um, I think it's got like uh, crushed up Oreos on it and chocolate and peanut butter. I'll show you when I eventually eat it. I'm not gonna eat it right now. I just had that amazing meal. So I have a few hours. I kind of want to um, go do that other hike. I just don't know if I have quite enough time. What time is the event? It's not till 6.30. I may or may not eat dinner. I might just have the fruit and snacks and snap peas that I have. Because um, I've already had two really decent meals today, like really good size. I have the donut, of course. So that gives me plenty of time. I do need to shower. I might try to go over to the Spencer Butte, or whatever it's called. I'm gonna look up how to pronounce that. Um, but I might need an Uber to get there. Well, I took an Uber over. I'm at the Ridgeline Trail System. And I'm here. I don't have a ton of time. So, let's see. Well, it looks like it's not that. So I think what I want to do is go start going this way. Because this will be very steep going up. Although I, I prefer to go up steep than down steep. Okay, so maybe what I want to do is go up straight and then down. Well, hopefully I can do this in under an hour. <laughs> Excuse me while I deliberate. Okay, I'm going to take a picture of this map. Yes, keyword saying easy. All right, here we go. It's a gorgeous afternoon. It's like 68 degrees. Perfect. I've got a couple people in front of me. And it's a beautiful day. view below from the trees. This is such a pretty trail. And I love how quiet it is. You really can't hear any traffic noises, which is ideal. view from up here. Pretty amazing. 
took me, according to my watch, 27 minutes and 43 seconds to hike up. Now I'm gonna head down. Down is not my favorite, <laughs> but I will persevere. Good, good hike, I highly recommend this. Very quiet, but it's close enough to Eugene to like get there easily. It's like a 15 minute Uber ride. Back down we go. Well, I'm at the trailhead once again. It took me 50 minutes and the whole trip was just over two miles, so. Pretty easy, nice. I mean, the top was a little treacherous, but it was worth the view. This is the stuff of dreams. I'm watching Kalel and I'm eating a vegan donut and I'm not mad about it. This is dinner, guys. I'm not mad about it.